Welcome to a quick installment of Fighting for the Faith. Uh, there was a uh, news story that broke yesterday, and I wanted to highlight it and bring it to your attention because it's more proof, I mean, objective, verifiable proof, uh, that Bethel Church in Redding, California, and the Bethel School of Supernatural Ministry, which we refer to in derision as Hogwarts, that uh, they are complete phony balonies. That's the only way I can put it. And uh, let's just say that the COVID pandemic, and I, I'm not here to debate the politics around it, whether or not you believe it's a pandemic or a scandemic, that doesn't matter. What matters is, is that there is an illness uh, uh, that uh, is caused by this particular coronavirus called COVID-19. And uh, you would think that... Uh, when the whole world is uh, running around afraid and terrified regarding a uh, a, a virus that uh, the Bethel School of Supernatural Ministry would be mustering an army of miracle workers to go out and combat this, and that this would be their moment of glory. Well, it's not their moment of glory. Uh, back in March uh, on my social media, we noted the fact that uh, well, uh, Bethel canceled its healing rooms because of COVID-19. Well, there's another thing coming up here. Let's take a look at this. This is from KRCR News out there in Shasta County, California. And the headline kind of says it all. 123 COVID-19 cases tied to Bethel School of supernatural ministry. Yeah, I can hear Bart Simpson right now going, don't, don't, right? Yeah, that's, um, yeah, you'd think, you'd think that uh, if Bethel were really operating in supernatural ministry, and of course, um, Bill Johnson has said that he would never, uh, you know, have a theology that made concession for illness, you know, yeah, that's uh, that's Roseboro's paraphrase of a direct quote from Bill Johnson. But you get the idea here. A uh, hundred and twenty-three COVID cases tied to Bethel School of Supernatural Ministry. In other words, Bethel School of False Supernatural Ministry. You'd think that they would have power. I mean, this would be the time for God, the Holy Spirit, to say, once and for all, I'm going to prove to you that Bethel really is operating in spiritual signs and wonders, and, and that uh, the I, the Holy Spirit, have chosen them to be my instruments for releasing miracles on the planet. But God, the Holy Spirit, uh, continues to uh, withhold all the supernatural stuff needed for that to happen. And, and we'll note, this has been going on for a while. Last year in December, they uh, Bethel was um, unable to resurrect Olive from the grave, and uh, and none of their prophets foresaw the uh, the coming pandemic. I, I would note none of the prophets saw that uh, Trump would uh, test positive for COVID nineteen. None of them saw the pandemic, the global meltdown, anything. No, none of them saw this coming. And now one hundred and twenty three. 123 COVID-19 cases tied to the Bethel School of Supernatural Ministry. Take a look at the article itself, uh, published yesterday, uh, Tuesday, October 6th. Uh, Dateline, Redding, California, Shasta County. Health officials say they know what is behind a recent spike in COVID-19 cases. The county announced Tuesday 123 cases tied to the Bethel School of Supernatural Ministry. Students at the Reading School travel from all over the world to study and often live together in homes throughout Shasta County. Health officials have indicated that college-aid students like those that attend Bethel are behind increased infection rates. Bethel returned to campus and in-person services in September after saying they had not had any positive cases. Bethel announced uh, Thursday, my apologies for this very... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this HBO trailer here, uh, bummer. It's just, it, yeah. I wish there was a way to like turn that off. Uh, we'll, we'll wait for it. There we, there we go. Bethel announced Thursday that they were canceling their church on the ball field outdoor service for the weeks of Sunday, October fourth, and Sunday, October eleventh. I thought that Bill Johnson doesn't uh, uh, believe, will not believe a theology that makes concessions for you know, illness and things like that. And they've can't, they've been 
canceled ser canceling services all over the place and now they've had to cancel again because of 100 what's a mere 123 positive covid cases uh, against the power signs and wonders of the bethel school of supernatural ministry anyway uh, another cluster was traced to windsor care facility assisted living uh 60 cases have been traced back to that facility so you kind of get the idea uh we'll take a look at a, a news report coming off of uh action news uh, Channel 12 and Channel 24 uh, there in uh, in Shasta County. Bethel switches to online learning after students and staff test positive for the corona virus. That's right. The Rona is uh, running amok there in uh, at Bethel School of Supernatural Ministry. Let's take a look at this uh, story. County. Now, Bethel Church in Reading is working to contain a coronavirus outbreak after students and staff tested positive. Working to contain. <laughs> would, would this involve decreeing and declaring and casting spells and things like that? They don't seem to be working. Action News Now reporter Anna Torreya shows us what's being done to keep more people from getting sick. Now, Bethel says that a portion of these new coronavirus cases here in Shasta County came from its staff and students. And now the church in... Staff! I, it's, so, just so you know, if Bethel doesn't have the opportunity at this point, point to say, well, the, the positive... COVID cases came from students, and of course, we're still training them in, in supernatural ministry. No. Um, st uh, well, staff, that would be, you know, the professors at Hogwarts. Uh, they, they've tested positive for, <laughs> for COVID-19. This has made the news. So you can't say, well, it's the uninitiated, the ungraduated students, they're, they're still learning. Uh-huh. No, it's the staff, too. School is taking swift action to make sure that the virus doesn't spread to the rest of the community. Recently, Shasta County Public Health has seen an uptick in coronavirus cases, especially in college-age groups. We do know that when um, people are sick, the best thing for them to do is stay home and comply with that isolation order. On Thursday, Bethel Church and its School of Supernatural Ministry acknowledged several cases from its students and staff. S several. Other news agencies reporting 123. The church believes that its students are not catching the virus in class or on campus. Uh, oh, really? And how do you, that just sounds to me like they're trying to, like, uh, limit any potential legal liability at this point. Oh, well, they didn't get it at, at, on, on campus. No, 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 no. How do you know where they got it? Exactly. How, you, you know, can, can you prove that you, they didn't catch it on your campus? But rather outside of school. The biggest challenge we found is that our students aren't catching the virus in school. We don't have dorms like Simpson. The biggest challenge is, is that your students shouldn't be catching it at all. They should be, be deployed around the world to end the pandemic using their special, miraculous working powers that they learned there at uh, Bethel. Our students are going back and living in houses. Bethel says there are strict protocols in place to keep the virus from spreading. You, you, they, didn't, they shouldn't have to have any. This is the Bethel School of Supernatural Ministry and. And uh, they don't believe in sickness. Uh, you know, they have healing rooms and stuff like that so the people can come and receive miraculous healing. They shouldn't have any protocols in place. They should be out there boldly, not wearing masks, taking their wands out and magically healing everybody. Yeah, I use wands on purpose. If they have any symptoms at all, we ask the whole home to quarantine. And also, they're put into groups. They stay in the same exact group. Do you think it's it's um, a, a good move that the school has made to switch to distance learning? It's a, a great way to help make sure that the um, students are staying home. People I spoke with say while the coronavirus is serious, it shouldn't stop education. Yeah, coronavirus is a little more serious than that. But to shut the whole country down and shut down schools and stop uh, certain educations, I don't think we should be doing that. While others... Yeah, again, that's kind of not the point here. Yeah, the issue regarding Bethel is is that they operate in signs and wonders that people are paying thousands, tens of thousands of dollars to graduate from Hogwarts there in uh, Reading, and uh, and they they should be able to you know handle something as simple as a coronavirus in their miraculous signs and wonder working powers, and uh, and yet, um, 
it's weird. Bethel is uh, handling this the way you would expect any secular institution who has no miracle working power to address it. So, you know, I, I would remind everybody that this uh, particular pandemic has uh, done the church a favor and proven definitively that the charismatic apostles and prophets are false and powerless. So we, we put this up at the Museum of Idolatry, uh, you know, and noted, uh, you know, different statements that were made. And we put, uh, we, and when we put this together, we put a ticker, you know, a, a thing that kept the date going up and up and up and up and up. So, you know, on February 24th, let me remind you, 2020, Rodney Howard Brown cursed the coronavirus, took credit for saving Florida from the Zika virus using this particular same method. And it's been 225 days, 23 hours, 40 minutes, and 43 seconds since Rodney Howard Brown cursed the coronavirus. A lot of good that did us. Sean Bowles, back on February 28th, 2020, uh, prophesied the tide was turning uh, regarding the coronavirus and it would not become the pandemic and that that, that people are afraid of. That was 220 days ago. Uh, back on March 4th, uh, Cindy Jacobs took throne room authority over the coronavirus and declared it to be illegal. That was 216 days ago. Chris Vallotton on March 20th, decreed that he had broken the power of the coronavirus, and that's been 200 days since that occurred. And we'll note that now 123 positive COVID-19 cases have been directly connected to the Bethel School of Supernatural Ministry. Um, and of course, I thought he solved this problem back on March 20th. Bill Johnson on March 20th also decreed that no Christian would get the coronavirus and that any Christian who had already tested positive, that they would be healed. That was 200 days ago. Awkward. Yeah, you get the point. And Kat Kerr, of course, she took authority over the coronavirus and commanded it to go 199 days ago. And shall I even mention Ken Copeland here? Uh, Ken Copeland, COVID-19! I blow the wind of God on you. Yeah, well, he blew the wind of God on COVID-19 and cursed it 191 days ago. A lot of good that did. But uh, most important, uh, Bill Johnson and Chris Vallotton in this list. Yeah, you know, and so the point is, is that uh, what we should have seen is, uh, is a, a piece that Kozar put together back on February 28th. Uh, Todd White, Bill Johnson, Benny Hinn race to China to end the coronavirus. This is uh, <laughs> Kozar's attempt at writing Babylon B type uh, <laughs> satire. But uh, and, and so in this article, this uh, this satirical article uh, that we have up at the Museum of Idolatry, dated February 28th, Todd White, Bill Johnson, Benny Hinn are going to demonstrate once and for all that they are doing greater works than Jesus. Uh, in an unprecedented move of supernatural power and public re relations, these three apostles of faith are dropping all of their lucrative speaking engagements in order to end the coronavirus. This is what we should have seen happening, by the way, with Bethel. I mean, all of the graduates, all of the students, all hands on deck, deploy the army, man, and go and save the world. That's what we should have seen happening. Right, so uh, I love the uh, <laughs> the captions here. Here is Todd's white, Todd White, on his way to the airport, thinking about all of the many healings he will soon facilitate in China. Bill Johnson, senior pastor of Bethel Reading, took a few minutes to hold a press conference at the airport before rushing off to catch his flight. We know that there is no coronavirus in heaven, and we're supposed to bring heaven to earth. So this is my chance to prove the validity of my beliefs by actually doing something supernatural, just like. Jesus, uh, said Johnson. He continued in a tone of both pious reflection and pseudo-profundity. I know that I spend a lot of time on stages all over the world telling people how we're all supposed to do greater works than Jesus, even though I have done nothing, even approaching the miraculous works of our Lord. So this is my chance. This is my chance to either put up or shut up. Reporters were not certain whether Johnson was holding back tears or if he accidentally swallowed his breath mint. <laughs> He left for the press. That was a good point. That was a great, great touch, Kozar. Uh, as, he, as he left the press conference and handed the keys of his Aston Martin to an assistant who had been struggling with uh, Papa Bill's overflowing cart of Louis Vuitton luggage. Yeah, so there's, uh, <clears throat> there's, there's uh, Bill Johnson's luggage carts. 
Uh, so uh, that Benny Hinn, not wanting to let his declining age or dwindling crowds diminish his reputation as the world's greatest healer, wasted no time catching a first-class flight out of Los Angeles on his way to China. Although Pastor Benny did not make the details of his trip public, insiders in his organization who wished to remain anonymous reported that he demanded that no layovers in India take place as he is known to hate the smell of that country. And so here's a fuzzy picture of uh, Benny Hinn rushing off to China to end the coronavirus back in February. And the newcomer of this trio apost- uh, of this trio of apostles is Todd White, who not only made a public announcement of his plans to end the coronavirus, but he also broke into a beatboxing song about how healing the people of China is normal Christianity. Mr. White quickly ended his song when he noticed that most of the people in the room had left. So, and here is a photograph of Todd White outside of the airport in Beijing, checking the first person he met for the coronavirus. And turns out she needed needed a leg lengthening. Yep, you get the point. That's what we should have seen happen from all of the faith healers, all these people who claim to operate in supernatural signs and wonders. But I would remind you of this, those that none of them have ever operated in real supernatural signs and wonders. They have been trafficking in what Scripture calls false signs. Uh, note that in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, talking about the coming of the lawless one, the man of lawlessness, uh, the Antichrist himself, uh, prophesies this, that the coming of the lawless one is by the activity of Satan with all power and false signs and wonders. False signs and wonders. This is what these people traffic in. Benny Hinn, Bill Johnson, Chris Vallotton, Rodney Howard Brown, Todd White, the whole cadre, Cindy Jacobs, uh, and this is all by the activity of Satan, with all power and false signs and wonders, and with all wicked deception for those who are perishing because they refuse to love the truth and so be saved. Therefore, God sends them a strong delusion so that they may believe what is false, in order that all may be condemned who did not believe the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. So, yeah, over and again, one of the comments that comes up uh, in the comment section of of our channel is, how can people believe this stuff? The answer is simple, is because God has sent a strong delusion on them. You think that Jesus showed up on stage when Benny Hinn invited him on in 2009? Jesus says that if anyone says that, don't believe him. You know, and David E. Taylor did the same thing back in 2015. Do you think Jesus showed up on stage? Do you think these people falling over, shaking uncontrollably, barking like dogs, clucking like chickens, uh, you know, speaking gibberish, could have bought a Hyundai, should have bought a Kia? That's not, uh, you know, you, you get the idea. That any of that is has anything to do with God the Holy Spirit? No. Do you think the people who spend their hard-earned money at Bethel School of Supernatural Ministry are learning how to operate in miraculous signs and wonders? Of course not. Of course not. And the fact that now there is 123, 123 as of yesterday, confirmed cases of COVID directly tied to the Bethel School of Supernatural Ministry is proof positive that what they are selling there is a flim-flam education that doesn't teach you anything about what the scripture says and that they're not operating in signs and wonders. These people are under a strong delusion and the activity they're engaging in according to scripture, uh, this is the activity of Satan, false signs, false wonders. Mark and avoid Bethel Church and the Bethel School of Supernatural Ministry and use this video and this news article uh, and this, you know, this 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 news event that's happening right now, as 100% proof that these people are doing the work of the devil and deceiving people and are under a strong delusion. Mark and avoid. Don't get any of your teaching from them. Don't get any of your worship music from Bethel at all. It's time to say enough is enough. It is time for the church to clean house and get rid of these hucksters because we can prove definitively that the whole time, this entire thing that they've been putting forward and claiming that they're operating in signs and wonders and the miraculous is nothing but nonsense. It's a false sign, false wonder. These people are scammers. 
I think you get the point. So hopefully you found this helpful, short little video. If so, all the information on how you can share this is down below in the description. And uh, until next time, may God richly bless you in the grace and mercy won by Jesus Christ and his vicarious death on the cross for all of your sins. Amen. <music>